In this video, we've got two goals. The first is to work with Google Forms, which you'll be working with a lot in either government or modern world history class, whichever class you're in. The second goal is to get you to uh, use your center school district email and go ahead and mark off uh, two of those goals on the checklist by sending me an email as well. So first, we'll start with the government interest survey. Uh, for modern world history, it will obviously be the modern world history interest survey, but same idea. So we are at the module checklist, so what we want to do is we want to go back to uh, the main course by clicking on Chambers Gov. When we go up here, the government interest survey is embedded, which means it shows up right here. So you can click straight onto this and click whatever answer you think it is. You now know the first one. I'm assuming you already knew that. The rest of them, you're on your own. Click whatever you believe is correct. Some of them you can click more than one. Some of them you can only click one. Um, pay attention to the instructions and answer how you best see fit. When, you, when you're done, and these are all required, so it's not going to let me submit, but when you're done with all of them, you need to click on this Submit button. If you're not done, like I'm not done, then when I click Submit, it will show me the required questions that I still have yet to complete, and I'll have to complete those before I'm able to submit uh, the Google Form. We'll do a lot of data collection through Google Forms throughout the year. Uh, over the course of the year, you will learn how to make your own Google Forms, and you'll learn how to analyze data that you may collect over Google Forms. A lot of uh, the world that we live in is based on data that we collect. How do you know whether people think you're doing a good job? How do I know whether people think I'm doing a good job? How do you know whether you're being successful in class? Well, that's all based on data. Google Forms is a great method to collect some of that data, and that's a large part of what we'll do in this class is learn how to collect and analyze data. So that's step one. Step two is to send an email to Mr. Chambers. Now, lots of you have personal emails, and that is great. I'm going to ask you to use your center email to collaborate and correspond with uh, me and your other teachers just so that we all know your email and we can look it up in the system. I'm going to switch screens and go to this page. Now, I'll go ahead and type it in here. You are going to portal.microsoftonline.com. Now, when you press enter, that's going to change. So if you need, pause this and copy that down or type it in and get there yourself. I'll click enter, and here we are. And here you just log in with your regular username and password. So I will put in my username, and I will put in my password. And the problem that I'm running into here is I did not make it my email. So I need to add at center.k12.mo.us, and it should work now. Now it may take a second to redirect, so we'll wait for it. It's going to ask me to sign in again. Now you notice this time it's not asking me for my email, it's asking me for my username. So I'm not going to add at center.k12.mo.us. I'll just add my username and password, and it's going to take me... Uh, to my email site here. Now, I've got a little bit different one as a teacher, so this is where the video is going to stop, but your email and your inbox should pop up at this point, uh, and if you have any other questions, uh, don't hesitate to ask me in person, or once you know how to send an email, then go ahead and send me an email at any time. I check my email all the time. It's a great way to communicate with me. So the last thing you need to do is create a new email, and you need to send me an email, and when you do that, you can go back to Moodle and go back to your checklist and your technology module. Click on your checklist. And you have now completed the government interest survey. You have logged into your school district email. And you have sent an introductory email to Mr. Chambers. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask.